Hello, and welcome back to What's Bubbling at Zim. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to continue to take a look at what's new in Zim 016. Right here, we have taken a look at shaders. We took an overview of all what's new. Now we're going to go in and take a look at this second one right here, and it is the Zim Emitter Configurator that allows us to configure a Zim Emitter that makes particles. This is roughly the default emitter. It's uh, got a few more colors in it, and maybe the circles are a bit bigger so that we can see them. You can choose different shapes up here. So there's a bunch of little squares and a bunch of triangles, and we'll go through and look at those later. I'll come back to the circles for now. And you can play around with these buttons. For instance, this one is tracing, and now it leaves sort of trails of these things. By the way, you can press like that and move the emitter around into different positions. That's using a, um, a motion controller in the background there. And the idea is you make changes to the code. We'll bring, bring those back. For instance, maybe we want more of them. Oh, that's lots. Then you can look at the code and you can see that we've increased the number to eight there. And here's the code for the, the rest of that stuff. Maybe we don't always want eight. So right now, if we drag this there, they go in sync together. But if we go like so, now it's going to animate in a range. So some of them, let's see, how can we see these different? Let's increase the interval so that there's fewer at a time. We'll take away the gravity. So now gravity is zero. And what should we do with the force? Uh, make it bigger or smaller? I kind of want to see that we can get some rings. How about, um, hmm, let's make the life longer. Perhaps that will help us. So if we make the life a bit longer, whoa, like so. What were we doing? Oh yeah, we were looking at the min and the maximum of these things. I don't know if that's helping. <laughs> Look at all those things go. So sometimes it's spurting. What is it? The interval's still too big. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There. Now we can, we've slowed that down. So we've taken our interval. Ah, right. Okay. And now we can see that sometimes it's emitting a fewer numbers and sometimes it's emitting more of those numbers. So that's between 0 and 15. We could increase the max. Boom, 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 boom. Cool, huh? We can apply wind. So here's some wind. Wind the other way. And back it goes the other way. We can change the angle. So if we bring these angles to sync, by the way, hitting sync doesn't go until you, you start a scrub. Now the angles are, are going um, to the right there. And here we're going to bring them back whoop, around up negative. So if we go negative 90, there we go, negative 90. Now they're shooting up. They're right on top of each other because the angles are completely equal. And so let's see if we unsync these and kind of go a little bit that way and a little bit that way. We can see, and let's move this down so that, so I brought it down. Now we've got particles that are emitting up and sort of fanning out with those angles. So a negative 90 is up, zero is to the right. There we have a gravity of zero. A gravity can go up as well. So let's take off the force, Brop. no force. Now they're all just being made right there and we can make the gravity go negative. And now the gravity is falling. Now I'll tell you what, let's do a refresh here. Bing, bring it back and take a look at gravity. So there's gravity going up, Whee! Gravity going down, whoa. Okay, and usually I think gravity is at 10, like that. <clears throat> we got our wind at zero. Let's see, what haven't we looked at? This is the life, so you can say, hey, make some of those go for a long life and some of them go to a shorter life. If you go a longer life, then that's what they look like. We can make them fall down. Should we make them like instead of come out from the middle. Oh, speaking of coming out from the middle, you see how they're all kind of coming up on top? Now they're randomly, some of them are up on top and some of them are at the back. And now they're all coming from the bottom. 
So now we've got them all coming from the bottom. It's like something's in behind shooting out at us like that. Although since we make them go small, sometimes you can't tell. And here they are back on the top. Now it's uh, like they're on the top and going backwards. Hmm, let's see. Let's change them to... Oh, what were you looking... Oh, yeah, I was going to say we could go across the width. So that is right here, horizontal. Now they're all opening up from the horizontal. Let's set the force back to zero, and we'll let just gravity make them fall. But the width is 300, and the height is 300. So they're all coming out of the top of a box that is 300 by 300. That's how, how it works. So if we increase our width, then those go across like that. Let's increase the number as well so we can kind of like definitely see them there. Oh yeah, they're, they are falling. If we wanted to put them um, up, we can, whoa, I, that moved the center of it to the middle. And that's good. So the, the higher it goes, whoop, the higher in the box. I'm, oh, I'm getting weird. So the box now is 500 high. That's like this. And they're going at the top of the box. So therefore, if I poke my cursor here, it shoots them all up above the screen, which is nice. And then we get the waterfall effect. Let's turn them into something smaller, like little squares of confetti. But if I wanted them to go to the bottom and say go up, that would be a negative gravity. So now they're going up. Whoa, not so fast. Just slowly, please. I'm getting sick. Okay, so there they are going up slowly, but you see I'm pressing here at the bottom, it won't go any farther because the height of it's 500. If I bring the height to zero, it will go to wherever I press. So now I pressed right here and that's where they're at. So I can come down here and then they'll all be coming up. But let's reverse it. Let's uh, make them fall from the, the top. So we'll make the box a bit bigger. We'll set the force, nope, the gravity positive again. And whoa! there they all go falling down ah. and if we make the box bigger I can press lower here to have them kind of go up great so we've got some falling confetti zim colors there it is falling in light colors I am going to increase the interval so there will be sort of fewer of them maybe reduce the number and they're all falling pretty fast is that the gravity Let's slow it down a touch Okay, now they need a longer life. So I've increased the life to know, a little bit bigger, like 7.5. It's <laughs> 7.5. We've got these things falling. By the way, we can collapse these and sort of see what's happening. I'm not sure we got right across the whole width there. So once again, here they are now falling at a smaller width. And now they're only falling within this range centered that. So if I increase the width, they now fall across the whole width. Let's increase the number of these a little bit. So now we're getting a kind of a scattering of these things. But look, they're not spinning. They're not uh, doing anything like that. They're still moving a bit uh, fast for me. So I don't know. How am I going to do that 0.5 gravity <laughs> whatever okay so there they are uh, falling and what we can do is we can animate them so if I go here and we can type in some zim animate stuff such as the props colon first of all let's uh, make them rotate rotation colon and here we can put a min and a max if we want min of minus 700 max of 700 and end our rotation we can give it the amount of time if we're if the life is 7.5 then we better give it a time of 7.52 or whatever and then we need to end the squiggly brackets of the final one there and it should be good apply now we should see them rotate here they come So they're rotating. What if we wanted them different sizes? Say they're a bit big. So we can type in random things. So uh, size is called scale, colon. If we just said scale of 0.5 and end that, they would all be 
smaller by uh, they'd be 0.5s and so pretty soon we'll see some small ones coming in. Yeah, it looks like we're our height is 615. We're like it takes three takes a little while to for them to get in here. We probably don't need that. But anyway, there's a bunch of smaller ones. And the idea behind rand is we can take any of these and we can say a min of say 0.2 and a max of one and end that. And that's just one scale. We could do this with other things as well and apply. Oh, it didn't like that code, why not? A min of colon 0.2 and a max of colon one. I forgot a colon. All right, and so now we're going to see uh, more random sizes come in. And we get some confetti. Ooh, what do you think? It's kind of pretty. Close this, oops, I've just uh, opened up a Sheridan thing by accident. I missed my screen. Uh, let's move that up a bit because we're seeing them pop in. I moved it down a touch, uh, but now I've had 300. There we are, that's good. What else can we do? How about, um, let's adjust the interval a little bit, slow it down, oh, speed it up a touch. That'll give us, get us more of them in there. The lifes are probably good, although I'm seeing that they're now starting to, I may have to pull it down a bit. If I don't want them to shrink, we can turn off the shrinking. So if I want them to fall right off the edge, we need a larger what life or some more force. It looks like they're kind of re restarting themselves. Sometimes as you're making changes, they're going to end up re restarting. Let's increase the number. That'll get us more that are falling in here and look more like you know snowflakes or something like that. Whoa. Pretty. So that sort of blah, 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 is it just restarting itself? Hopefully. <laughs> hey, come on. Put, 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 put. Seems to be putting for some reason. Let's look at um, if we didn't want squares, we could do triangles. What are triangles? I haven't seen any triangles. Let's just do. We've got too many of these things going. What's going on here? Normally, it doesn't um, cause a problem, so I don't know. Just reduce those, see if there's any changes, and then it needs to kind of get itself starting again. Looks like our triangles are coming in too low. That's why we're seeing them pop in here. So we want, uh, again, it's this height thing. If we increase the height a bit and pop in here, then it should start up above somewhere out of view. Otherwise, if I bring them down, so I've just pressed down here, now all my triangles, my new triangles, are popping in right here. So there's triangles. I forgot we even did triangles. I'm so used to stars. There's the stars popping in. I'm going to press up here. And now the stars will start um, falling from up above. That's pretty. What have we got? Those are the lights. Here are the grays. Here are the reds. Looks like it's going to take a little while for them to get in here. There's some reds. Let's put trails on. Ooh, what will this do? <laughs> cool. Bring it down a bit. What about, can we make them follow? Uh, here's a, This is called a sink. And so now they're following. Let's change the uh, colors to Zim colors. Now all those stars are following my cursor. So that's called a sink with trails. That's got trace on it. Maybe we don't even need trace. What would it do? A bunch of stars. Whoa! Right now they're going across the height, but you could have made them go vertically. But now I've just made them so they're starting. You see here they are right here. And let's bring in the interval being faster and a number of them. Okay, so we've got this uh, a trailing of stars that's uh, following the cursor. And remember, we haven't poked. If I want it to actually move, then I poke and poke again. But those that's called a sink. So all those particles are going after my cursor in a sink. Let's see what they look like now with the trace. Zzzz. 
kind of looks like it's gone slow motion on us. And then we're... Yeah, nice. I like that. Okay, so doing a refresh here. Um, what did we look at? We've seen the circles. Uh, we haven't seen flames yet. Okay, so let's go see. Here's smoke. So right here, we're going to increase our life of the smoke a bit. There we go. And slow down the force to zero and slow down our gravity. As a matter of fact, if we don't have anything, zero, that's, that's smoke. We wouldn't want a bit of force then at that point. Let's um, unsync it and go, yeah, okay, so that's a bit too much. There, nice. Can we get this a bit bigger? So we'll go under random, scale, colon two, well, how about a min of one and a max of two? How are you guys doing out there? Isn't this fun? And we apply. Then our smoke is a different size. Isn't it cool? So now we've got like a puff of smoke going on. Wow, nice. Whoosh. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. All right, what's next? Stars. Okay, so these are stars. It looks like we might need some more force on the start. Ba ba da 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 dum dum dum, ba da 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 dum dum dum. Okay, and what's next? Oh, colors don't apply to that flame. Well, we don't need that much flame, so we'll bring back our force on the flame. Maybe uh, the angle could go up. That's a negative, negative ninety. So now we're shooting up, bring back a little bit of force, and we'll reduce the random size here to a 0.5. I forgot we had randoms going to one. And apply. Makes them a bit smaller. We can drop this in behind, like uh, randomly, it's, it's gonna kind of, some of them will go underneath and some of them will go on top. Now they're all shooting out of the bottom. I feel like I kind of want to see the sink operate on the force. Whoa, that's way too much force. So we'll reduce the sink force to just a little bit there. And if you had a sink, then you've got some flames going on here. And the idea behind a flame is it um, you want to put the bottom of it under something so that you don't see it pop in, and then it will seem more natural. I guess what we could do is bring it down to the bottom almost does it now look like I don't know but if you put it in the bottom you can't you can't then see it um, uh, grow so that would make your fire for you there's other ways we could do that we could make it shrink faster and it would get skinnier up at the top right now it's a little bit uh, fat at the top I like it to, to shrink a bit more All right cool huh uh, rings Re what happens with trace turned on and rings? Whoa, that's strange looking, isn't it? Okay, uh, and then what's the other one? Boxes. Grays, reds, very nice. What about boxes going off of the vertical? Okay, so now they're all shooting up. Uh, they're all shooting upwards and I have a, a width of 300 if we don't want we have no gravity oh it's the angles here let's put them at any angle I guess oh uh, that's not any angle this is any angle wow yikes oh okay anyway can you see that we're having fun with the emitter and once again if you then pop on the code here you can see the code as to what that's doing, there's our emitter. We also have added a sink right here up at the top, a sink, this object, and we're moving the object to the frames, mouse X and mouse Y. And then down below here, we have the sink and the sink force of two. And you could copy that code and get the same thing. If you wiggled the sink, back and forth, you'd end up with something like this. If you wiggle it kind of in here, then it kind of goes into this ball, but you might want to wiggle it up above like that. that that's pretty cool. Ah, uh, neat. Sim colors. 
Random scales. No, too much. Don't let's not put the uh, trace on it. Whoa, okay, so that's what it was tracing, that kind of movement. <laughs> well, I'm caught in some sort of quandary. A little bit more force. Max or randomize the force at touch. Make some go not so much and some go a bit. Take off our sink. And we've got um, that happening. You can rotate them. All right. Well, blah, blah, blah. Probably go on for another hour here. And this thing, by the way, pauses it. There you go. You can make some art. Oh, paused. And this guy right here chooses different colors of the background. Wow. Let's choose a yellow. 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 Ow. There we go. Nah. Maybe. Okay. Okay, what do you think? You like? Abstract. I am Dr. Abstract, and here we've been playing with the particle emitter. There might have been some things that we forgot to show you. Um, you won't notice pool, you won't notice warming and uh, cache and focus. Warm means start the emitter, and it will look like this to start rather than growing to be like this. But it's nice to have those there because if you can turn them on, then you can see them in the code, and this sort of reminds you of what we have um, available. There are a few more things that the emitter can do that we maybe didn't see here. For instance, we can emit into a shape. So we can draw lines in a shape. And so that's one thing that this emitter configure didn't uh, put in. But we did get a lot of them in there and made it in Zim in about, oh, I don't know, less than a day. Uh, isn't that nice? Cool. So have a great one. I am Dr. Abstract. This has been a What's Bubbling at Zim. And take a look at the other bubblings coming up as well. <laughs> Zimjazz.com. And come join us. Zimjazz.com slash Discord. Although we're starting a new forum soon. So, um, oh, Discord will still be around. It's Zimjazz.com slash Slack. And we'll be starting a new forum and phasing out Slack soon. Cheers. All the best.